Hi, I'm Tessa, and today I'm going to show you how to decorate three Christmas cookies. First, we're going to make these marbled Christmas trees. So I made a batch of royal icing, and I'm going to take a portion of it and add it to our bowl. And I'm going to thin it out with water so it's loose enough to coat the top of our cookies. And we're just going to use our water a couple tablespoons at a time and just mix it together until it's the correct consistency. And what we're looking for is like a loose glaze that will cling to the cookie. It should be similar to the consistency of honey. So I thin the royal icing to make our glaze. You want it to be thin enough that it'll settle on top of the cookie so it's nice and smooth when it dries, but you don't want it to be too thin that it runs off the edge of the cookies after we dip it in. To create the marbled effect, I'm going to take a toothpick and dip it in my gel food coloring. And I have mint green and leaf green. And I'm just going to dot it on top of the glaze and then give it a swirl. So I'm going to take my cookie, my Christmas tree, and I'm going to dip it face down into the swirls of royal icing. And I'm going to dip it in. And then with my fingertips, I'm going to give it a little twist and then lift it up and I'm going to give it a little shake to let any of the excess icing go back into the bowl and then flip it right side up and I'm going to put it over here on our parchment paper to dry and I'm going to give it like a little wiggle to make sure any, any peaks um, settle down and so it dries nice and flat and from there I'm going to use my scriber needle tool to pop any little air bubbles or to spread it out to the corners where we need extra icing and then we'll leave those here to dry. So these cookies have been drying for a few hours now. So next we're going to add some piping. For piping, we're looking for a consistency that's similar to that of toothpaste. So I'm going to use a little bit of water again to thin out my royal icing. So I'm going to fill my piping bag with the piping consistency icing. And for all of these designs today, we're not using piping tips. So I snipped the tip of my piping bag and now I have a very small opening so I can pipe the string of the lights. So the piping consistency is thick enough to hold its shape, but thin enough that I can squeeze the piping bag with just one hand and use the other hand to guide the bag down the tree. Make sure to stick the sprinkles on while the icing is still wet so it sticks. So after our sprinkles, I'm going to be painting the icing gold. So I'm going to take my very small paintbrush and I have gold paint and I'm going to paint it on the white icing. So I'm using edible decorative cake paint here and I'm using a paintbrush that is designated for food only. So you won't be using this for your arts and crafts. This is just for cookie decorating and cakes. So you want to make sure that the paint and the icing is completely dry before you package up your cookies. So once everything is dry, we are all finished. So next up is our glazed and glittered snowflake cookies. So I dipped the cookies in the glaze that's similar to the marbling that we did for the Christmas trees, except for I tinted the whole thing blue and I waited until they dried. So I have my glazed cookies that are already dried and I have our piping consistency icing, the kind of icing that's similar to toothpaste. And I'm just going to pipe on some outlines and some details, and then I'm going to dip them into the sugar. And then I'll flip it over to dry. So if you want to skip the glaze altogether, you can just pipe straight onto your baked and cooled cookies and do the same design. And then I'll flip it right side up to dry. Again, you'll want the icing to dry before you pack up your cookies. Next, I'm making mitten cookies. So I'm going to thin out my icing to make it so it's flood consistency. Once again, I'm going to add a little bit of water until I have the correct consistency. It's pretty fluid 
but still thick enough that it's not going to run off the cookie, it'll eventually settle so this top of the cookie will end up nice and smooth. I'm doing a wet on wet technique. So when I pipe the pink icing on top of the white, both of the icings are wet and are the same consistency. So when they dry, they dry at the same time and it's nice and smooth on top. So I use a little bit of the gel food coloring and I use a toothpick to tint the icing. So now I'm gonna snip the tip of my piping bag. I'm gonna cut a very small opening so I can pipe around the edges of my cookie. So now I'm going to flood the inside with the same icing and same consistency. And you want to make sure that most of the cookie is covered. But of course, if there's like any little holes, we will go back and fill those in. Now that the inside of the cookie is mostly filled, I'm going to use my scriber needle tool to fill in any of those little holes. And then I'll give the cookie a little shake to make it all settle in. And now for the wet on wet technique, I need to be able to pipe the pink icing on top of the white icing while it is still wet. And I'm going to pipe stripes across my cookie. So you just want to pipe on the second color of icing before the base dries. To create the feathered pattern, I'm going to take my scriber needle tool again and pull straight down. And I'm going to make a few lines heading in one direction. And then I'll go back in the opposite direction in between those first lines. And if you don't have this tool, you could also use a toothpick. And then give it a shake to make sure it all settles in as one. So now I'm going to add the polka dots to this mitten by just piping straight down and I'm gonna make different size polka dots by just adding a little bit more pressure to make the larger ones and a little bit less to make the smaller ones. Let's give this one a shimmy so that the pink icing settles down with the white as it dries. The last thing we're gonna do is pipe the cuff of our mitten cookies. So we're going back to the piping consistency, the one that's similar to toothpaste. So again, there's no need for piping tips here. I'm gonna cut the tip slightly larger than I did before. And then from there, I'm just gonna do a zigzag motion, making sure to come up to the icing that's already on the cookie. Okay, that's it. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun. Now go out and make your own cookies. I'm gonna enjoy mine and I hope you have a very happy holidays.